Three construction workers seriously hurt when a floor collapsed in the old Edison building in South Boston. One of those workers was pinned for hours, requiring the fire department and a surgeon to help free him. Let's get right out to WBZ's Ken McLeod, who's live tonight in South Boston. Ken, I know you've been on scene for hours. What do we know? Well, David, all afternoon, Summer Street here in Southie was shut down because it was just clogged with emergency vehicles. And the hope tonight is that the swift and unusual actions of a field surgery team have saved a man's life. It wasn't anything like massive shaking, but you, you felt it. Locals say it felt like a small earthquake just before they saw workers scrambling out of the old Edison plant in Southie, where demolition workers have been at it for several months. Demolition jobs are very dangerous, uh, so probably more dangerous than putting buildings up. It was just after 1.30 when an enormous chunk of wall, ceiling and floor collapsed, dumping a mountain of debris on three workers. Plucking the first two to safety was relatively easy and both went to the hospital with minor injuries. But freeing that third worker was far tougher. His condition was very serious and uh, there was still a danger of further collapse. Indeed, that victim's legs were pinned under heavy debris. So a surgical team was summoned to the scene where a doctor determined that the only way to save that worker and pull him to safety was to amputate the pinned leg. It's nothing that we're looking to do or anyone's looking to do, but it's it's, we have to, our goal is always to save lives. It took three and a half hours with a hundred firefighters providing support to make sure the scene was stable enough for doctors to work. But when that victim was finally rushed to the hospital, officials were optimistic. As far as I know, he was conscious through the whole operation. Uh, he was in serious pain. Demolition at the old power plant is part of a massive 15-acre redevelopment project, but the accident comes just weeks after a similar demolition mishap at a downtown parking garage. I'm angry that we're here again at another work site with another major incident. Federal investigators with OSHA have already been out here. The Suffolk DA is also pledging an investigation. And Mayor Michelle Wu says for the time being, this project has been shut down. Live in Southie tonight, Ken McLeod, WBZ News. All right, Ken, thank you.